You know, in the world of Call of Duty, I think it has been over a decade now where constantly fans are saying that the golden years of the franchise are well behind us. Like, I really played Call of Duty from 2009 to 2012, which was Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops 2. Yeah, just a, a fantastic era. Now, obviously, that has been the driving force of a few different Call of Duty mod sort of projects, like full game mods with full multiplayer lobbies. Now, if you remember, there was actually... a uh, a full-fledged game that was being worked on for years called SM2. That was supposed to be more of a rework, a sort of hodgepodge of a whole bunch of classic and I believe new uh, Call of Duty maps, Call of Duty guns, all within one game with its own, like I said, multiplayer lobbies. Now if you remember, this project was actually shut down in May of last year due to a cease and desist from Activision. It was very disappointing, especially if you were getting stoked for the game. I remember following that project quite closely. It looked like it was going to be really cool, but Activision did their thing and the rest is history. Now after that, I think a lot more attention was focused on a different project called H2M. Basically, this project was supposed to be Modern Warfare Remastered from 2016, which was the remaster of the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Basically, it was supposed to take that game and merge it with the 2009 Modern Warfare 2. And very similar to SM2, H2M was supposed to to be a full-fledged multiplayer game with working lobbies and it was even going to have its own ranking system and its own like custom camos it was going to be really cool now get this so this mod i mean i really have a hard time calling it a mod it was supposed to be a full-fledged game but this mod was supposed to uh literally i am not kidding drop tomorrow august 16th 2024 now if you're watching this right as i'm posting it you'll notice that it is august 15th right now and you have seen the title of this video yet yeah, they literally shut down down this project, a Activision uh, issued a cease and desist on this H2M project the literal day before it was supposed to launch, like hours before it was supposed to launch. Now, I'm no lawyer, but I would say that Activision is probably well within their right to do this. Like, H2M has even tweeted out saying, yes, they are going to fully comply with this. They are going to permanently shut down the project. But here's the thing. People are calling this out as more than just that. They're, they're saying it is a very scummy thing to do. Not just just because Activision is shutting down this project, but because of like how they went about it and when they went about it. See, the thing about H2M is that it actually requires that you own the 2016 Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered game to play it. Now, with the game coming out tomorrow, and I believe it looks like they announced the release date uh, just like six days ago, I can see on the Steam charts that uh, as of six days ago, the purchases of Modern Warfare Remastered just skyrocketed. Obviously, this means that Activision was getting a ton of money on a game that is eight years old. It actually looks like it rose to fourth place on the Steam charts. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually crazy. And then the day before the project is supposed to launch, Activision uh, basically yoinks it. So people are saying, and I can't confirm this, but people are alleging that Activision was trying to squeeze every dollar that they could out of this without really having to do any work, and then at the very last second, they pulled the rug. Now, obviously, I can't confirm that they were actually doing this, that this was the thought process behind this. For all we know, they just today found out about this project, but obviously uh, people, and myself included, really don't think that's likely. So, yeah, the, the timing of this cease and desist seems to be a bit greedy, but nonetheless, very unfortunately, this project has been shut down, and like I said, the official Twitter account has said that this is permanent. It ain't coming back from the dead. Projects like this, like I said, are are really a sign that the community of Call of Duty misses the old days and I don't know these projects really seem to compile a lot of these old maps and guns and features in a very interesting way but the thing is none of them can actually get off the ground or in this case it did get off the ground but at the very last second it was shut down to my knowledge as well they weren't going to actually charge any money for this mod it looks like it was going to be a free to play mod once again though I can't confirm that maybe they were going to charge money but I can't see that they were going to. Regardless, charging money or not charging money for the mod, Activision obviously saw this as a threat. They want people playing their games with microtransactions. Yeah, besides the actual purchase of the base game Modern Warfare Remastered 2016, they didn't see that they could really benefit from this in any way, so that's probably why they shut this down. Very sad, very discouraging, especially for the people who were working on this project, but to the whole community of people who really wanted to see this take off, and were sadly just one day away from that actually happening.
happening. I don't know if there are any other mods like this that are currently in the works, but with SM2 shutting down and now with H2M, I don't think fans are going to be wanting to launch the development of a project like this anytime soon since it's clear that Activision can shut it down even just a day before launch.